Yeah, hi guys, it's Joe here at Grizzly Fabrications down in Torrington, North Devon. Thought I'd just bring you all a few videos to update you all on what's happening at our new site. Um, we're getting quite a following now on social media. So I thought you might want to see what's happening. And if you're interested in all the old welding and shot blasting and spraying and mechanics and all that kind of stuff, you've probably seen what we do. I'll just try and bring it to you so you can actually see what is actually happening inside the building because all you see is pictures on Facebook of it all shiny and new and all that sort of stuff you don't see any of the background stuff so I thought I'd try and bring some of that to you you have to bear with me a bit because I'm not very good at this whole video thing um, but we'll see how it goes we'll do a few videos over the next I don't know few weeks few months um, and go from there is where the magic happens, my end, really. I am a welder by trade, but um, I've had to sort of resort to doing the designs and ordering and all the stuff to keep the boys busy, really, now. <laughs> so we've got some interesting projects coming up. We've got this nice three meter shear grab to go to Patrick Stevens at Honiton. Um, this is our factory layout plan. Hopefully this is how it will look over the next I don't know, six months is probably going to take, I reckon, to get it up and running. I'll take you out through into the factory in a minute and show you what it actually looks like. <laughs> Rusty will come with us in a minute. And you've probably seen that we are doing a really nice range of trailers for PK sales. Um, we are starting work on some really smart silage trailers. Uh, we've actually started the chassis of one out there, so hopefully come the new year, going into spring, we'll have these little babies out. You guys have been following me before, you know that we're pretty crafty in our painting and little designs and little tweaks that we do. Everything's very custom and specialised really to suit what people want. If they want it fully customised, we'll do it fully customised. But then we do have our range of tractor bumpers, really smart for the front of the tractors. We've got bale handers, we do our hydraulic tipping wrap carriers, which was the first project we ever took to market, really. And then that turned into our crop rollers, and then we do dung grabs. And yeah, it's, it's going forward. Um, I am a deer fan, <laughs> if you do know me through the years. I do like my deers. Um, been out doing the harvest through Australia and America with Frederick Arbiston and that for a couple of years. So yeah, do like all that stuff. Rusty, you coming? Let's go show everyone the factory. So, <laughs> as we walk out of here, we got this, I'll say small powder coating plant to get rid of. This is one of the next jobs on the list. Rip this one down, get rid of that. Scrap it all. Make way for some space. Um, this will be our assembly bay. Going forward, Dad's just bought himself a new <laughs> six by six D bat. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, tracked bumpers. They're coming in and out all the time, really. We should always have stock if you're looking for one. Our forklift's in a bit of a sorry state at the minute. Head gasket went. Two days ago, so I need to go and get that today at some point. We do do hydraulic hose crimping, uh, stock, all that kind of stuff. So this is where the magic happens in the fabrication bay. At the moment, this will be, the other side of these pillars will be our new paint shop. And this side will be part assembly, part mechanics, part anything of everything really. Our little plasma table. Feeling a bit sorry for itself, a bit neglected. Could do with a bigger one, really. <laughs> so we've got crop rollers coming out all the time, really. Seems to be throughout the whole year. Um, we have the UK market, and then we also sell to New Zealand as well. So they're going into their summer where they want some. This is the start of our silo trailer chassis, upside down.
This just took me freaking hours. <laughs> but we're there. Make it happen. Just gotta make it happen. Wrap carriers, always doing wrap carriers. Um, bail handlers. So yeah, in the near future, this part here will be our paint shop. So we can put the trailers right in and then out there for the assembly. Rusty, you coming? Here then. <laughs> this is our problem shed. I'll take you in. So this was the paint shop for the old business that was in here. And there's two massive powder coat ovens. I say massive. This was the smaller oven of the two. There was one right here. Um, taking up the whole space. I'll put a picture up. You can see what it actually looked like in here. This is all the side panel and all the walls of it. Um, ripped it down with a digger and then all this insulation's come out. <laughs> there's a pile there, there's a pile there. And our silage trailer is nearly full as well. And that's just out of one. This one here is full of it as well. So we've got to pull this one down, get all the insulation out and take all the steel to the scrapyard and then this will be a lovely welding shed. Plenty of height, plenty of space. And then that is our main door out and then it'll be a nice straight line through into the paint shop and then straight out to the assembly bay. That is the plan going forward. So there's a big acid dipping plant here. That's all got to be ripped out. Took the scrapyard. There was tracking all around here. So it's been a long, long process to get this happening. If you guys do any powder coating and see anything you want, just let me know because I've tried selling it on eBay. It's too industrial for most people. <laughs> Half of it, I don't even know what it is. Extractor fans, anyone? That is some serious motor. Two of those puppies. Out through here is our chop blast shed. We had to build these doors when we first come in. Uh, we can fit a 36 foot bale trailer in here fairly comfortably. Probably end up putting a crane of some sort up here in time just to be able to lift stuff safely so we put it all in a well in a hopper and then we tip the blast into this grid which then sits into a fertilizer hopper and underneath there is the actual must have some sort of mouse in here yeah, there you go, a little flex tracks. They've been getting there, I sell some bedding, haven't they? That's what they've been doing. There's probably one living in here, I expect. But yeah, this is our shot blasting shed. <laughs> I've put all the bulletproof blast perspex in. So there's another factory below us called Darton and Crystal. Uh, they, get, they do get a bit teasy with us. I think the noise of the blaster and that just cheese them off but what can you do I'm just having a quick wander around just so I um, know what's happening for next week really so, like I say we're gonna rip that um, other oven down bring all these walls down so we can get through to both both buildings try and get a bit further on the silage trailer and then as soon as that is all done, we need to get on and build the paint shop because we're getting a lot of stuff built up here and we need to get it blasted and painted and out the door. We've got our good friend Charles Andrews on the pins and bushes. He is a master at laving and milling and all that stuff. We put a bit of a list together so he knows what he's got to do to make that happen. Um, we've got three bale trailers to get out as well. Um, 
Oh yes, yeah, so I need to go and get that forklift gasket now, don't I? So they can fix that one next week because we'll be a bit lost without that one. I need, this is what I need to make this happen. We'll get rid of that one very soon. <laughs> Ideal guys, that'll wrap this video up. Um, next one we'll do, we'll go outside and see what's happening out there. There's a few bits and pieces happening. Um, if, you're, if you like what we're doing in the factory, interested in what we're doing and what we're trying to achieve, um, give us a like and a thumbs up and follow our social media on Instagram, Facebook, very interactive on that. Um, yeah, so me and Rusty will see you on the next video. Cheers and out.